Shaping your mindset. Important. Make sure that you watch every word of this video and apply what you learn. Your success with this model depends on you having the right mindset. The power of belief. Belief is everything. If you strongly believe that you will make $10,000 a month after 90 days, then you will. If you do not have a strong belief in your ability to do this, then you will fail. It's that simple. We all hold strong beliefs about different things. Sometimes these beliefs limit us to achieving what we really want. They can be deep-rooted and difficult to shift. But you can eradicate these limiting beliefs. Many people have limiting beliefs when it comes to money. This can often stem from childhood. Some parents drum into their kids that money doesn't grow on trees and other cliches such as this. What is your attitude towards money? Here is something that you can do right now to test your belief system. Ask yourself the following question. How can I make $10,000 a month after 90 days? What kind of thoughts enter your head once you ask yourself this question? Were there any doubts? Did your inner voice tell you that it was not possible or that you would never do it? Or perhaps you generated a thought about you trying this internet marketing stuff before and failing at it, so you will fail this time. If you experienced any of these kind of doubts or negative inner voice responses, then you have limiting beliefs that you must eradicate before you start your 90-day journey. Here is a very important thing to remember. You are not your beliefs. Your experiences in the past have modeled you into the person that you are today. You can remodel yourself into the person that you want to be today and in the future. It is all too easy to dwell on the past and recall past failures. This does not help at all, but so many people do it. The past is the past. It is gone. It can be a useful reference and learning guide for you, but not always. So how do you change the limiting beliefs that you have? Well, the first thing that you need to do is identify your limiting beliefs. By asking yourself questions like you did about making $10,000 a month in 90 days, your limiting beliefs will come to the surface through your inner voice. Write down all of these limiting beliefs. Choose one of the limiting beliefs to work on. You cannot successfully tackle more than one at a time. Take a look at your list. Which ones are money related? Pick one that you know is not true, such as you failed with other internet marketing methods, so you will fail with this one. Now question yourself as to why you hold this belief. Think about the experiences that you have had that led you to forming this belief. Think about why this belief is false. For example, there are many true stories of successful internet marketers that failed miserably a number of times before they got it right. The final step is to neutralize this limiting belief with a positive belief. When this thought enters your head, counter it immediately with a thought like, it doesn't matter that I failed before. I won't fail this time. Keep practicing this for all negative thoughts that you have. You can use visualization to make this even stronger. Approach all of your limiting beliefs in this way. After a while of counteracting with positive thoughts, the limiting belief will diminish and eventually disappear. You must be consistent with this. It takes very little effort to counter negative thoughts, and it is highly effective. Make this a daily ritual. Stopping the negativity. Unfortunately, we live in a very negative world. Negativity is all around us on TV, the Internet, and the people that we associate with. It is impossible to avoid, unless you want to live alone in the middle of nowhere and be a hermit. Every time you sit down to watch the news, there will be negativity. Someone is causing a problem for somebody else. If you spend a lot of time on social media and online forums, then you will be awash with negativity. People really like to complain and moan about their life, don't they? If you are doing this regularly, then you need to stop it right now. But be warned, it is not an easy transition. There will always be someone who will happily bring you down with their tales of woe. If you come into regular contact with people through your job or another situation, then you will know who the negative ones are. You can try to avoid them as much as possible, and you should do this. But this will not always be possible. So, how do you counter negativity from people, social media, TV, etc.? Well, social media and TV are easy. Spend as little time on them as possible. Some people are addicted to social media. It can actually be a great tool for making money, 
But you won't make a cent if you spend time telling people what you had for dinner and reading everyone's complaints. If you receive negativity from anyone in any situation, here is what you need to do. Counter it with a positive thought. If you tell your friends that you're going to be earning $10,000 a month after 90 days, a lot of them will not believe you. They will say things like, you'll never do that, and I will believe that when I see it. The best thing to do is to not tell them about your plans. If you have to tell them and they shower you with negativity, then think positive thoughts. In time, this will make you so determined that you will be inspired every time you hear a negative comment. Have you ever thought about using an internet marketing method to make money online and then gone to a forum to check out what others think about the method? If you have, then you will have found that there are always people who will tell you that the method doesn't work. They never provide any evidence, of course. These internet marketing forums can be very useful, and it is possible to learn a lot from them, but you must be prepared to deal with the negativity that you will find. Remember, counter any negativity with positive thoughts. Setting goals. Do you really know what you want to achieve in the next few years of your life? If you do, then congratulations. Most people don't. If you were to visit any area where there are people and ask a few of them what they want from their life, then you will get a lot of ums and ahs, and a lot of them will tell you that they don't know. If you are in this position, then you will not succeed. You have a head start with this training. You know that you can make $10,000 in 90 days. So, how much do you want to make in a year? Write it down. You need to write down your goals and then break them down into individual plans and take action on those plans. This is a three-step process for success. Number one, know what you want. Number two, develop a plan to get there. Number three, take daily action. This training has been created to support this process. Well, the first two steps anyway. The daily action part is totally down to you. Change and the law of inertia. Change is not always easy. In fact, sometimes it is really tough. But you must make changes to what you are doing in the moment or you will not achieve the success that you want. Making the initial change is the hardest part. Then you can let the law of inertia take over. Let's say that procrastination is a problem for you. The first thing that you need to do is decide that you are not going to procrastinate. Then you must build on this every day by taking action instead of procrastinating. You see, the law of inertia is against you to begin with. You have procrastinated for so long that it is forcing you to continue, which makes change difficult. But once you make the change and keep going in the opposite direction, then the law of inertia will work for you against the procrastination. It is very powerful, so use it. Developing your iron resolve. All successful people have an iron resolve. What does this mean? Well, if a successful person tells you that they are going to do something, big or small, then you can put your last penny on them doing it. It will be a certainty. This is where you want to be. When you decide on your goals, you know that you are going to achieve them because you have an iron resolve. If you promise something to someone, then it will always happen. So how do you develop an iron resolve? Well, there are six traits that you need to master. In order. Start. People with an iron resolve always start. They do not wait around for the right astrological signs or New Year's Eve to make resolutions or whatever other excuse you can think of. They get an idea and they start immediately. Prioritize. When you start working on your goals, you will have a number of actions that you need to complete each day. Some of these actions will be more important than others, so you need to be able to prioritize. There will be some days that something comes up and will prevent you from achieving all of your tasks. If this happens, then those really important tasks need to get done at all costs. Prioritize them over the others and tackle the rest tomorrow. Focus. If you have been involved in internet marketing for a while, then this may well be a problem for you. What we are talking about here is your ability to concentrate on your goals amid all of the distractions that life throws your way. Help yourself to focus better by turning off Facebook and even your phone when you are working on your goal actions. You will become better at concentrating the more that you practice, so stick with it. Persistence. This could be at the top of the list, but it doesn't matter, as it is part of your iron resolve. This is all about not giving up whatever the situation. 
Let's say that you are working on your $10,000 per month and 90 days plan and something goes wrong and you do not get the results that you're expecting. What do you do? Well, what you mustn't do is give up. If you feel like giving up, then get up and punch the air and say, come on, in a loud and passionate voice. Try to understand why this particular thing did not work out and try something else. Review. All successful people that have an iron resolve review where their actions are taking them. This is very important, and you need to do this too. If two people take the same course of action, then it is very likely that they will get different results. You need to regularly review how close you are getting to your goals through the actions that you take. If you are not getting close, then take a different course of action. Don't just blindly persist with something that is failing. Conduct a reality check, and then think about what else you can do to get the results that you need. Organization. Are you organized? Can you find stuff on your computer from years ago in seconds? If you are disorganized, then this is going to slow down your progress towards your goal considerably. There is no magic solution here. Just get organized. What you need to do now is think about all of these six traits and where you have weaknesses. You need to take action to overcome those weaknesses. When you do this, you will send the right signals to your subconscious mind, and you will develop a very strong iron resolve.